Welcome to episode 1 of Let's Dub Corpse Party. I'm going to be playing through this game for the first time as I record this, so a lot of times when you hear me doing the voiceover, you may hear me be puzzled. Well, trust me, I'll be just as puzzled as you with all the incest and murder I'm sure is about to unfold. Zack is my pride and joy. She do anything for me. I don't think I'm not gonna read that. That was too fast. But I still love her with all my heart. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled, she fell, and she died. You've all heard the stories, no? Before Kisagari Academy was built here, there was another school on this property. Huh? Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. Such a horrible thing to happen, the principal was completely devastated. He cared for the school almost as if it were his own child, you see. But one thing led to another after the incident. An ultimate decision was reached. The school was to be shut down. The principal was so stricken with grief over losing his precious child that on the day of its closure, he climbed onto the, its roof and threw himself to his death, or so the star goes. People thought the heavenly host was cursed, you see. This was just the latest of many deaths to occur there. That's why it was torn down. However, they say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after our school days have come to an end, some claim she still roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire school dark as night. That's what you'll hear from the blackness, followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open as her pale face cuts through the still blackness. Her soft voice echoes the same question. Is anyone there? It's a, it's a blackout! Satoshi, pull your balls together. Don't scare us like that. But it was scary. I don't like this. This shouldn't be happening. Not bad, Shinozaki. You had me going there for a minute. Well, hold your horses. I've been standing here the whole time. It was a real blackout. Shit, does anyone hear that? Whoa, something's coming for the music room. I just peed a little. N no way. <laughs> Satoshi, what the fuck is wrong with you? Pull yourself together and stop grabbing my titter tatters. Bro, sorry. I totally couldn't see where I was driving. <laughs> I totally told you guys it was a bad idea to stay here so late and tell ghost stories. Well, Satoshi, aren't you going to get the door? Well, what? 
The girls are all trembling with the fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them like that? Bro, so why don't you answer the door? It doesn't break my Nazi heart. That's ice cold, bro. Is anyone still here? Go home, children. What <laughs> did I scare you? T teacher, bro. Hey, your teacher. Shinozaki. Girl power! I'd say that was an arousing success. We've been had! Your timing couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> it wasn't long before I was a student here myself, so when it comes to Seven Wonders, I'm pretty well versed. <laughs> Satoshi. Ah, I thought Chow's reaction was priceless, but yours was on a whole different level altogether, Mokita. It was pretty impressive. I never hoped to compete with that. Wee, Mokita's always got the best reactions. I just love it when my skills are thoroughly effective. It's simply delicious. Bro, who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak anyway? Sorry about that, Mokita, but I can't deny your reaction was pretty amusing. All pranking aside, though, I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who came to see you. What are you standing around in the hallway for? Come in here, he's right here. Hello, hello everybody. Yuko! Y Yuko, what are you doing here? Big brother. Seems Mukida forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuko came all this way to deliver it. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuko. Thanks. <laughs> Teehee. Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. No, oh, really? I never told you? You never said a word. You sure do love your brother, don't you? Huh, <laughs> yes, deeply. Oh. Hmm, seems like she's met Kishinuma before. Naomi. Ah, Naomi, looks like you got yourself a rival. Uh, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I swear this pretty mouth of yours says the craziest shit. Alright everybody, it's past seven. Is it about time you are ready for home? Oh, do we have to? Shouldn't we clean up all the red bean cafe stuff first? It'd be a shame to leave so soon. Yeah, with the classroom like this, it almost seems like we could have another culture festival tomorrow. Isn't that what you were supposed to be doing here in the first place? You promised me this room would be ready, as I recall. Yes, well, it's getting late. How about you leave for now and come in early tomorrow? Yes, um. Suzumoto, I know how hard it is to say goodbye. But I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Gee, thanks. Won't be the same without you around here. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. It's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all come visit. Yeah, totally. Don't look so glum. We'll be able to see you real soon. We're friends forever, after all. You guys. <laughs>